Welcome, bienvenue. Uh, so we are now beginning our second meeting of the evening. Uh, so this is our 7 p.m. special meeting. Uh, once again, I'll, I'll do the introductions. I have with me on my right, Councillor Azarad, Councillor Schuster, Councillor Sabag, Councillor Kajavsky, Councillor Benizri. I have our city manager, uh, city manager Maître Schechter, uh, Councillor Cohn, uh, I have our Director of Legal Services, Pascal Tanguay, uh, Notre Trésorier, André Raffalisi, and we have our Director of Communications, Daryl Levine, on my right. Uh, so, Daryl, do we do, I think we're, we did, the, um, we did the recording on the question period, and we did it also on the land acknowledgement, so I don't think we necessarily need to repeat it. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll do that. So I'll ask, uh, I'll ask Councillor Sabag to do it. Certainly. Thank you. Um, so it'd be moved. I'd like to move uh, the motion to get uh, Councillor uh, Stephen Early to chair uh, this uh, meeting tonight. Thank you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Schuster, all in favor? Okay, motion carried. Thank you. Uh, so just once again, I'll, I'll pass on the regrets of the mayor who's not able to be here uh, this evening. Uh, so first, uh, are there any questions? So no questions for the meeting. Uh, I'll just mention for those who are watching on the previous uh, meeting, there are six o'clock and even for now, if you do have any questions about the budget, uh, you could feel free to email me at sertily at uh, Of course, you can uh, always re review the documents and and so on, which are available online. Uh, and I'll just mention today, we'll be doing notice of motion uh, and adopting some, and we'll do the final adoption for some of these bylaws on Wednesday evening, uh, December 20th at 6.30. So if you're able to join either in person or on Zoom or watching it on YouTube a bit later, so that we'll continue again on Wednesday at 6.30. So we'll go to uh, item two on the agenda, uh, notice of motion and tabling of draft bylaw uh, Councillor Sabag. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Notice of motion, draft bylaw 2398-7, amending bylaw 2398 to regulate parking and public safety. Perfect. Uh, for this one, I'm just looking. So just, to, I guess, to table the draft bylaw as well. Right. So I'd like to table yeah. it as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want to maybe mention a bit about, so what I believe it's increasing the minimum fine slightly? Yeah, so we're just, um, much like everything, we're trying to keep up with other cities as well. Um, the fines for uh, non-moving violations were quite low, probably the lowest in the city. Uh, we've invested in technology, invested in uh, public safety, and um, this is also a deterrent for people to obey some of the bylaws regarding parking. So we'll be increasing that slightly. All right. Thank you, Councillor Sabag. So there's no vote on this one. Correct. Uh, we'll move to item three, adoption of bylaw 2617 concerning tariffs, uh, 2024 tariffs for the city of Cote St. Luke. And so, yeah, this is, I know page 98, a, a bit out of sequence. Go ahead, Councillor Schuster. Thank you, Councillor Erkeley.
uh, those watching who are experiencing some technical difficulties, this is the, uh, the amazing thing about live. sending out the tax, uh, sorry, the budget flyer will be going out shortly. Oh, we're good. All right, so for those who are watching, hopefully you were able to hear the whole first part of the meeting. If we did have some technical difficulties, we, uh, we apologize for that. Uh, so we were just we were just finishing with bylaw 2617. I think Councilor Schuster, was there anything else you wanted to add? I think you were good. I have nothing further. All right, so adoption of bylaw 2617, it's been moved and seconded, all in favor? Any opposed? Carried unanimously. Uh, so now we'll move to item four, notice of motion and tabling of draft bylaw 2620 concerning the taxes for 2018. So I believe this is page 18. Go ahead, count. Well, you. it's page 18 for 2024, uh, Councillor Azarad. Thank you, Councillor Early. So he, I hereby give notice of motion that bylaw 2620 to be entitled bylaw 2620 concerning the taxes of the city of Cote Saint Luc for the fiscal year 2024 will be presented present at a later meeting for adoption. Um, so this is just basically to set our tax rates. And uh, I hereby table the draft bylaw 2620, titled bylaw 2620 concerning taxes of the city of Cote St. Luke for the fiscal year 2024. Thank you, Councillor Azrat. So yeah, so just to add, as I mentioned earlier in the meeting, uh, so th this is the, these are the tax rates that were discussed in the budget presentation. Uh, about a half hour ago, and uh, we will officially be adopting the tax rates on Wednesday, uh, December 20th at 6.30 p.m. So again, you're, uh, we invite you to join either in person or on Zoom or to watch it on YouTube after, and uh, hopefully it'll be an interesting one. Uh, so that'll be 26.20. So that, for that one, no vote. It's been, uh, we have the notice of motion and tabling a draft. So let's move on. Move to item five, adoption of bylaw 2518-2, amending bylaw 2518 and bylaw 2518-1, re 2024 transfer duties. Conseiller uh, Benizou. Oui. Merci, uh, Conseiller Erdely. Uh, et résolu que le règlement 2518-2, intitulé règlement 2518-2, modifiant le règlement 2518 et le règlement 2518-1, en fixant le, 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 le taux du droit de mutation applicable au transfert dont la base d'imposition excède 800 000 dollars, soit et, et par la présente adoptée. Merci, c'est proposé euh, et secondé par, appuyé par le conseil Azarad. I'll just, uh, I'll just add uh, just a brief explanation, or brief, uh, you know, more, few more details. So, uh, these change in transfer duties. So this is for the welcome tax. Uh, so this is related to homes that are above the average. So homes that are over $800,000 where they'll see a slight increase in their welcome tax. Uh, and also for homes that are above $3 million. So, uh, so for homes that are above $800,000, we'll see a slight increase. And homes that are valued at more than $3 million will be see a more significant increase in terms of their transfer duties. Uh, and the goal here, again, is to offset some of the, the losses because of the reduction in sale of homes. Uh, so it's been moved and seconded. C'était appuyé seconde, c'était proposé seconde. Tous qui en faveur, qui est contre. Adopted à l'unanimité, adopted unanimously. And now we'll move to item six, uh, approval of the working fund projects for 2024, Councillor Cohen. Thank you, uh, Mr. Acting Mayor. Uh, I so move that for the 2024 fiscal year, the city council approves the following pursuant to non-interest bearing loan from its working fund for the following projects, 
purchase and installation of an ACC indoor pool air exchanger up to a maximum of $48,000 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Purchase and installation of library retaining walls and driveway up to a maximum of $30,000 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Purchase and installation of recycled plastic benches at the outdoor pool up to a maximum of $12,500 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Replacement of the existing electric panel at Public Works Garage up to a maximum of $70,000 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Purchase and installation of a retaining wall for water retention on the, mu on the musical ramp at City Hall up to a maximum of $23,700 plus applicable taxes to be advertised over a period of five years. Purchase and installation of furniture and equipment for human resources and IT staff up to a maximum of $15,000 plus applicable taxes to be advertised over a period of five years. Purchase and installation of security camera system up to a maximum of $16,600 plus applicable, tax, applicable taxes. I should be learning applicable better after saying it so many times to be amortized over a period of five years. Purchase and installation of computer peripherals up to a maximum of $31,500 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Modernization of data center. That's our server room up to a maximum of $160,000 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Purchase of second session border controller for Teams telephone system up to a maximum of $10,000 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Replacement of the ACC pool pump up to a maximum of $25,000 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Replacement of the ACC winter carpet up to a maximum of $22,000 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of 10 years. Purchase of a roller machine at the tennis court up to a maximum of $17,000 plus applicable taxes to be amortized over a period of five years. Purchase of a triple bin compost garbage recycling system up to a maximum of $15,000 plus applicable taxes to be advertised over a period of five years. That the city shall provide every year out of its general fund a sum sufficient to repay the various loans back into the working fund. Thank you, Councillor Cohn. Uh, so it's been moved. Do we have a seconder? Councillor Azarad. Uh, so Councillor Cohn, anything you wanna add on these? Uh, no, I think you're better placed to add right. something on it. Well, to I'll just, maybe I'll just share a few. So just to mention in general, so these are projects that are done through what we call the working fund. Uh, so the city has a working fund and, and it's basically where we put money aside and borrow from ourselves. And especially now is a good time to do that because when we borrow from ourselves, we pay zero interest. Uh, so we, and this is, these are items we pay for. Uh, and usually they're shorter amortization periods, about five to 10 years. Uh, and the goal is to try to get these done within a year or two from the adoption time. And then we pay ourselves back in five years or so, five, 10 years, depending on the amortization. So these are, again, smaller items, uh, includes repairs or instances in the aquatic center. Uh, we have had some issues with the retaining wall behind City Hall, uh, items like the electrical panel at the garage, at the Public Works garage, uh, things like new cameras, servers, uh, computers, uh, most of which are our annual purchases that we do. Uh, some are a little bit more, not so regular, like the pool pump uh, and the carpets, which we do every few years. Uh, and I guess I'll just finish the last one, the triple bins, which are uh, the bins you'll see in, in City Hall and, and other locations. And if I recall correctly, I think these had to do with the aquatic center because of the what we found with the metal bins, because of the humidity in the air, because of the pool, uh, there was some rust. So these are bins that hopefully will not rust. I can't, I'm not sure if they're can't remember if they're plastic or a uh, stainless steel, but uh, hopefully we won't have any issues. So these are the items that will be funded through the working fund. All right, so we have a mover and a seconder all in favor. Anyone opposed? Carried unanimously. Uh, and I guess with that, we'll move to adjournment. Councillor Kajowski. So moved. Uh, seconder for adjournment, Councillor Sabag. All in favor of adjournment? 
meeting is now adjourned. Thank you. Merci.